Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. This one's going to be interesting today. It's kind of like going to the junkyard and uh, you know, building a, a two cars, take two cars and make one out of it. So Tom sent these reels in to me. These are uh, interesting reels. They are the Penn Baja Special. It's really a heavy duty senator. Uh, you'll see some things inside here that uh, you just don't normally see in senators. I've got one here turning very well, doing what it should be doing, however it's got a stripped bridge screw and uh, the handle nut will not hold the handle on there. And then Tom had another one here which is basically the body of the reel, uh, seems to do what it's supposed to do, however there's no spool, the missing bearings, it's been cannibalized. So one more time to cannibalize then, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rebuild uh, one or the other. Uh, probably stay with this one just because it has the, the good threading on it for the screw and uh, just take parts off of this one, put them together and uh, for the side plate and uh, see what we got. So this is an interesting one, it's called the Baja Special. It's a 4.0 sized reel and uh, we're going to take it apart, show you how it's made and uh, keep you entertained during this pandemic. Um, this, the harnesses have been removed on both of these, I guess that was a matter of preference by the prior owner. and. Uh, I'm wearing a glove to protect myself from anything that might be underneath there that may have gotten in through the holes or any of the old uh, uh, greases or anything like that. Now, most of the time these things can just pull off. Sometimes they're a little stubborn. In this case this one came right off which was kind of nice and it looks nice and clean inside uh, as it should. So I'm just going to put that case over here for now. I'm going to take it apart. We'll show you what makes this one interesting and uh, I'll tell you if you haven't worked on one of these Go get the schematic for it before you open it up because it's not your, your garden variety pen senator. Uh, you'll see a couple of differences. You'll see a different drag system in here. Uh, you're going to see double dogs, uh, double anti-reverse dogs. You're going to see double anti-eccentric uh, springs. You're going to see a thicker yoke and some other things that uh, meant that this reel was really built for big game fish and uh, that's what it was intended for as a uh, um, uh, a, a normal course of action. These things are always tough on me to get off for some reason. I don't don't get it, but uh, I got it. I'm just going to see if I can't pop it up with the screwdriver. I'm going to have trouble with the screwdriver today. That's one of the disadvantages of these gloved hands here, is that uh, you lose some dexterity. Yeah, we should just be able to get that up like that. There we go. Okay, gently. If you have to pry anything, always gently. Okay, here we go with the uh, gearing. This should have a burring in it. So I think we're probably going to wind up taking the shaft off of this one and uh, putting the... Well, that's interesting. One has a burring, one doesn't. I think we're going to go back. We're going to use this one because I don't like it just doesn't have the bearing in it. So we're going to just take the shaft off of this one. We'll work on taking the shaft off of this one and put it back on that one. Like I said, it's kind of a junkyard project here, but I don't, uh, I'm guessing that when this was cannibalized, uh, a lot of parts may be missing anyway. So we'll take them both off. We'll show you how this works and uh, get this one out fishing again. Kind of an interesting uh, reel design. All right, I'm pulling all of the, the bridge screws off. You should see that they're all the same unlike the others, there's um, most of the pens have uh, threaded screws below and, and partially threaded above. In this case I'm thinking we're going to see uh, all the screws going to be the same, which they are. And we're going to put those into our parts tray. And what I need is, I need the bridge out of this. Uh, I need the, the gear sleeve, so I'm going to pull the uh, assembly off with the drag washers. I'm just going to put this whole thing to the side because I don't need that right now. Here's your dog, one of your dogs. Get the other dog off. 
There's two dog springs behind them. This is one of them. Don't lose them. We'll come back to them in a moment. Notice where they came from. One of them is actually anchored through this hole here, the inside hole, not the screw hole. The other actually anchors below here. So just be aware of that when we go to reinstall. I'll mention it again. But know that those springs are different uh, locations in the anchoring. And they're not your traditional anti-reverse dog spring. All right, let's pull this thing off. That's what we need. To do that, you're going to take the punch and you're going to push the pin in the gear shaft through. You'll see it come out that way. I'm going to grab it with the pliers. Don't grab too hard with this because one, it doesn't need a lot to come out, and two, if you kind of put a burr on the edge of, the, of, the, edge of that, it's uh, just not going to work properly. You're going to mash it up and you won't get it back in. So now that I have it off, I'm going to go right back, get that started so I don't lose it, and that's going to go into my parts tray. All right, all of this stuff right now is just going to go in a bag because none of this is needed. And uh, without the shaft uh, working properly, all of these are just spare parts at the moment. So I'm going to grab a bag somewhere. Yeah, thought I had a bag nearby. Here we go. And we're just going to put all of that stuff in here just to be used at a later date. side plate in there too because all of that stuff is just extra at the moment. Go over there with the, uh, the balance. Alright, let's go back to the one that's working right but has the bad shaft. And now we'll show you how to tune the whole reel up and uh, how to take care of it. One of the things you want to do is take that washer, uh, take the star drag adjuster off. I was missing on the other reel. We should be able to pull up on this assembly. Again, I always have trouble with this darn last uh, Click lever here, and it looks like I had the same trouble on this one that I did on the other. I'm just going to see if we can't. There we go. Just a gentle little pry. I put it between the two uh, tension washers there. I put the screwdriver. That way I'm not buggering up a case or anything. Uh, that goes into our box. See, this one has a burring in it. So uh, I'm going to go use this setup instead. And pull the four, well, let's pull the four outside plates before I go to the inside. So the Baja Special was made in the USA, it says so right on the case, and that's always interesting because of the dating on it. Right here it says made in the USA. But the dating was 2004 to about 2012 or so, and then it got replaced by the uh, US Special Senators. And uh, I guess uh, the, the design changed once again. There's been about four iterations or five iterations of Senators. Senators are one of the oldest uh, lines that Penn makes. It goes all the way back into the late 1930s, early 40s. It was one of their first reels for big game. Uh, and they stayed big game. So you, you know the, the 10 O's and the 12 O's and all that sort of stuff, big senators and more. Then they came inland, uh, or inshore if you will, with the uh, smaller senators still intended for big game. And um, got down to the, the 1 O's actually for very light inshore. So we have a burring. This should come off burring on the spool that's going to sit in here. We have the spool itself. We have another burring in the back here. And uh, in, in this case, as I mentioned, we have a burring on this side. I didn't see a burring in the other one that we just took off. But we need to replace this post with the worn uh, shaft. So I'm going to just take that out for a moment. If, uh, if you don't appear as reckless as I do in terms of putting all those pieces into the uh, parts tray, which is the bottom of a milk jug. It's only because I've done this more than once and um, kind of know where these things belong. But uh, if you want to lay them out, some people like to lay them out on the mat in front of them in the order that they took them out. Uh, I like to encourage you to take pictures uh, along the way. Even if you have that schematic, just kind of take pictures of critical points so that you know uh, where these things come and go from. Like that, the burring just fell out of the side plate here. So I'll put that back in. All right, so this kind of looks the same, but it's got the bad shaft on it. And here's what the uh, the side plate looks like. I'll put these pieces in. 
And since that bearing just kind of scooted out of there, we'll just go put it back in. So you want to press down on the yoke assembly and you can remove the jack. Pull up on this. And now this is kind of an interesting difference here. So if you have the uh, the other four centers, this one has two eccentric springs where most of the pen reels just have the single up top here. You'll notice that the yoke is much thicker than the, the typical one that you'll find on there. And in this case, with the pinion gear or spool gear, you're going to notice that there's a through shaft here. A through shaft rides on the bowing in the back case, and that's what just scooted out when I pulled the, uh, the case off. So if that happens to you, uh, you take a side plate out and something jumps, that's where that schematic comes into play, because it tells you exactly where that belongs. Alright, I'm going to just do a quick clean up on this side. It looks like it's in pretty good shape, and it looks like the grease is relatively new in there. But we'll take that off. I'm going to grab my brush and some uh, blue grease, some Pen Universal uh, Real Grease. This is a pen, pen reel, so I guess Pen would be happy that I'm using Pen Grease on it, but use any fishing reel grease. This one just happens to be Pen. We want to uh, put the grease on both sides of the yoke. We want to check that spool, the spool gear or the pinion gear. Make sure all the teeth are good. These are nice. Um, Stainless steel teeth. So this one's set for action here. As I mentioned, it is a pretty much. It's pretty much designed for a lot heavier fish than the, the typical senator or a senator of this size. That's probably why they called it Baja Special. I'm going to center that back over the springs in the case. I grab the jack and reinstall that. And that's kind of the way we found it. So we're just going to set that off to the side now. Let's go over and replace the shaft that uh, we need to replace. As I mentioned, this one had a bearing on it. The other one seemed to have a deeper cup um, uh, ferrule or gear sleeve. Uh, I much prefer the bearing, so there you go. All right, we're going to take the, uh, the assembly off here. We should be able to take it off relatively easy. There's a cap washer, and then there's a series of uh, HT100 drags. I forget the name of this drag system. It uh, It's a little different than... Uh, the others. So uh, let's show it to you. And, and what's different about it, it doesn't have eared washers. Let me place that off the side for a moment. So you have these HT100 drags, and that's actually what's holding into the spool. All of the tags that are on the, uh, the washers are what hold it, and they alternate uh, as most drag systems do. It starts with the fabric to the metal, and this three sets of that. There's a fourth one here and then there's a thick washer. When you go to reinstall, remember that the thick washer goes up top and then there's a cap washer which sits on top of that. And again, if you needed to verify any of that, you would see that on your, your burst diagram there. Okay, I'm just going to set these aside for a moment so we can get to the main shaft replacement. And again, if you're tuning this up as opposed to replacing a shaft, then uh, you just want to be careful that uh, you take your time with these. You pay attention to where these springs are located, for example. I'm taking these out again. Now we put put the springs into a parts tray there, but this is the defective bridge, so this has got to be removed. You do the same thing we did on the other one. You poke through on the, uh, the pin. Gently grab it with the pliers. Again, if you really get aggressive with this, you're going to scar that pin and it's going to be difficult to put it back in. So just be careful as you walk it out. In this case, I guess you need to be less careful because we're not going to use that again. Let's go back and grab our brush then. Oh, let's grab a towel and get the old grease off. Then we can grab our brush, put a little bit of fresh coat on there. Very nice. Get the replacement one. We have the pin sitting in the replacement one. There's a little bit of junk on the back, so let's clean that off. And right over the top of the sleeve. But before we do that, I always get these a little bit messed up, unfortunately. We're going to go grab these dog sleeves again, because you want to put these dogs on first. There's a, two tags. There's a long end and a short end. I hope you can see it on here. The long end hangs over the side on the bottom one here. Try 
trying not to shoot the spring. Springs tend to shoot. Just like that, it hangs over the side. Kind of weird feeling because of that. The other one with the long end does not hang over the side. It hangs through a hole right above it here. So need to note if you're uh, if you're doing this, if you got a little lost along the way, yes, it goes that way. So that tag end there is going to put pressure, downward pressure on the dog. So you want to put the first one in under that, just like that. The tag is on top here. And on the other dog, you want upward pressure, because that's the opposite side. So on the right side of this uh, bridge, the tag belongs underneath. OK. With that set, we can take the, oops, fell off. We can take the bridge that has the good threading on it. So I'm going to slip that over to the shaft. And now we need to do a couple of things. It's kind of a balancing act here. Never easy. Oh, spring came out again. That's another reason why it's never easy. So what we want to do then and it's not easy doing it for the camera. You want to push up on the one, down on the other, and then work the, the bridge down. What's happened is the pin has come in too much, so I'm going to pull that pin back. That's why I'm wrestling with this. Pull it out completely. All right, let's reset this then. For those of you that are wondering how to set the spring, you'll, you've seen it two or three times now. So isn't that the old Mark Twain thing? Tell them what you told them. Or tell them, tell them what you told them, and tell them again. OK, now we can put it that way. Now when you pull the two anti-reverse dogs, it should just kind of slide down. There you go. Now we got it. Not an easy task, but that's the way this thing sets up. So you got a double, double dog there. And then what I like to do next is there should be a washer on here, a washer, a, a bearing. And then this sits over the bearing, and I like to put this in to hold the dogs before I go any further. So I'm just going to load that on the way it belongs, and now you can see how this is set up here. You've got your dogs, you've got one spring protruding from the hole here, you've got one spring that rides over the top. This is ready for the, uh, the washers. Okay, we need to put that pin back in to hold the shaft. And now we can put the washers in. As I mentioned, it starts with, these are HT100 washers. They can get dry grease, so let's do that. We use uh, Cal's Universal Dry Grease for this. Just dip it in. I use my glove hand to kind of spread the grease around. I use a paper towel to get some of the excess grease off. You don't want to put too much on. And then these sit in the channels of the main gear now. So they kind of go in like that, followed by a metal one. Make sure they're clean. Do it again for the HT100 washer. Wipe off the excess. Sit them into the little ferrule there. Again, you're working with the thin washers now. There's one cap washer that's thick. You don't want to put that one on. Getting my glove caught up in there. Got a little bit extra here. It seems to be catching when I put that down. Okay, third one. Followed by one of these. Last of the 
washers here, spread it around, wipe it off, set it in the holes, and that one should be flush with the top. Then you put your thicker washer in, and you have a little cap washer that goes on top of that. So that's the, the core assembly. You were to turn, make sure that those anti-reverse dogs didn't pop off. Now we're going to grab this, and this just lays over the top. You need to do a little bit of push down here to hold the spool gear out of the way. Just roll it in and set it into your prongs. When you're flush on your case side, you're done. You can give it a little turn while you're holding it just to make sure you got it. Grab those four side plate screws. And in my tray right now, I probably have more than four because I think I have the ones that I took off from the, uh, the other ones sitting in there, even though I bagged most of the parts. I don't think I bagged them all. And then I do this in opposite north, south, east, west. Get one tight, get grabbed, not totally tight. Grab the other. Come up top, grab the other. Come back down. And once you have all four of them there, And we can go back around. So I'll come down the bottom here and I'll finish this one off, tighten it up. Do the same. Same here. One more. Okay, set. We had a small cap that went over next. Then we had the burring. I'm going to put the burring in and then I'm going to give that burring a drink of oil. I'm going to use fishing reel oil. In this case, it's, it's Real X. I guess if I wanted to straight stay true to pen, I could use the pen oil. Uh, just use fishing oil. Okay, we had two concave washers came off. They're not flat. They have a bow in them. They can be nested like this, side to side. They can be opposing like this. We have a space on the outside, or they can be like this with the space on the inside. I noticed when I was taking these off, this is the way they went, so they're going back on that way. And we are a little click uh, mechanism for the uh, star adjuster. And we have the star adjuster. It's not going on even. Make sure you put it on even, otherwise you risk cross-threading cross this. You cross-thread it, you'll have a problem down below like we had above with that other one. There we go. Okay. Now we got a nice smooth operation there. I'm just going to check one more thing. I'm going to check the dog. We'll put a little bit of grease on one part of the dog we couldn't put it on before. We'll just make sure we put it in, make sure everything's kind of going the way it should. Bring that back out. Okay. Side plate is done. Let's just finish this reel up then. We have a, uh, a spool here with a bearing on the back. There's some leak something leaked out there, whatever it might be. We're going to, I'll use pen this time, just to make pen happy. We're going to put some pen oil onto the bearing. I oil bearings, I get this question a lot. I oil bearings and I grease the other moving parts. Um, I think if you aren't careful with grease on bearings, it can trap dirt and kind of cause a uh, degradation in the service or premature wear, so even though the oils evaporate faster, I'm more confident with them than I am with uh, oil in that situation. Okay, here we go, we're going to grab the, the bearing now that belongs on the spool, seat that, put some more oil on that bearing, and we have to line the holes up here. now. The harness holes should line and that should tell you where we're seated here. I'm going to use a centering pin just to make sure I have the hole. I'm going to grab the four side plate screws and again I have a few more side plate screws in there from the other reel that I took apart to get to this point. one. Here's two. So 
So this is this will be a junkyard dog here. It's going to be two wheels in one. Uh, it's probably no different than just getting the uh, the replacement uh, bridge shaft from uh, the replacement parts like mysticparts.com. But I guess it, you can say this one kind of makes it a little bit more fun. And it also shows you how to do this as we uh, try to show you how to repair reels and keep reels fishing. You don't necessarily, you may find a donor reel out there, for example, maybe the part's not available. There we go. Got a nice, uh, nice spin to it. If uh, we put a little bit more grease, you can adjust the, the outbound side of that. This one is a little tight here, but if you wanted to, you could just grab that and pull it back a little bit. That'll make the spool spin faster. I just got a question the other day saying that it seemed like the spool was... Uh, it's tight and sometimes the grease just takes a little extra time in the channel but this one's this one's just very nice okay here's the test of, of time here right this uh, we didn't have the uh, ability to put that nut on it was stripped and it's uh, you can't say that's a fault of the design although I don't necessarily like it but uh, what you do find is that uh, the strips inside the uh, the other bridge sleeves strip as well. So it's uh, it's not like it's that unusual. Okay, I like to tighten these by hand as much as I can before I put a wrench on it. All right, nice and tight on that. We have the nut cap. There's a screw in here, so you gotta take that screw out so you can make sure you're lined up. For some reason the camera just cut off. I was saying that there's a screw in that cap, you gotta pull it out because you wanna see where you are with the hole alignment. In this case, I'm going to move that cap just a little bit. And now we're aligned, so we can put that small screw back in. And uh, this is the uh, the Pen Baja Special. So if you have one of these and you wanted to work on it, now you know how to do that. We learned a couple of things. It's much more heavy duty than the basic uh, Senator is. Good for big game fish in a small uh, platform. It's it's braid ready, and uh, it's it's a nice solid reel with very very heavy parts, including the stainless steel uh, gearing and uh, the heavy yoke, the double springs, the double anti-reverse dogs, and so on. So now you, you know how to do that. If you have one of these and it needs service and you're a little, little intimidated because of all those steps that just went on there, uh, if you'd like it serviced, then contact me by email, which is on my business card at the end, and we can arrange for the servicing of your reel. Uh, please, uh, this is uh, just one of many projects we've been doing during the pandemic to keep everybody kind of occupied. Uh, if you have a particular reel you'd like to see serviced, why don't you drop me a note. If you have a reel that you're servicing and you ran into a problem, leave that problem in the comments. I'll try and answer it as best I can. It doesn't have to be on this particular reel. It can be on anything. And uh, we'll try and help each other out as we work through this. So please, stay safe. Stay home. Stay, uh, stay busy. Stay uh, prepared for the fishing season. And with that, I'm going to wish you a... Uh, a happy and safe day. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Thank you for watching.